Lord, we have talked about it all week, of asking Jamel Herring, what's the game plan? What's the strategy? And how early do you get to it? What do you expect from him? Jamel Herring's got to show that he can deal with the speed of Shakur and that he can start to get his own jab established and slowly start to push Shakur Stevenson back. I don't like what I'm seeing right now from Jamel Herring. He's sitting back right now trying to box with Stevenson when he should be trying to move forward and get into the chest. Right now, Stevenson is fainting and getting the reaction that he wants from Herring. That is to his advantage with the superior hand speed, overall skill, foot speed. Early and often and not allowing Jamel Herring to get anything back. There's a body shot right hand from Shakur and then goes with the southpaw jab. I see something very appealing from Shakur Stevenson. You see the grease on his body? Yes. <laughs> He's expecting body shots coming from Jamel Herring. Of course, at the discretion of the referee, pre-fight, Mark Nelson looked him over as to whether or not it's acceptable. It, it shouldn't be. Jamel has to start to implement the game plan that he's been talking about all week, which is being the bully. If it stays like this, it's on Shakur's terms, Timmy. All night long, Shakur Stevenson is systematically already breaking down and found his rhythm and found his mark quickly in his first round. And you know that Shakur is getting to Jamel right now because he's got Jamel hesitant to throw. Jamel came out going punch for punch. Now he's got Jamel thinking, trying to figure out what to do next. That's the right hand, that left hand I'm talking about. Jamel doesn't see things coming from that side. And he's walking that way at the moment, getting hit with straight left hands from Shakur Stevenson. Bud Crawford simply tell Jamel Herring, Dre, you got to commit, you got to commit, push him back. And that's bad news for Team Herring when you get that kind of coaching in the after the first round you would think that maybe that would happen after the midway point in this fight so it's not looking good for jamel herring right now he can still try to get himself in the fight but bomack is right he's got to try to commit and sell out he's walking down jamel herring already and it's the second round well, that's the mistake we make sometimes we think the taller guy is a stronger guy the taller guy is the bigger guy it's not necessarily true shakur looks a lot stronger than jamel herring to me right now and a lot thicker left hand landing Good accuracy from Shakur, and then he places it to the body. Had a three-punch combination, couple left hands up top, and then places it to the body. It's a very strong start for the undefeated fighter. That jab right there from Jamel Herring was a half jab, trying to get back to defense all at the same time. It's not a good look, fellas. It's not. Just watch that left hand that come over the top right now from Shakur. Left hand comes in again. <laughs> and again. He said it would be his breakout performance. He took criticism. We as fighters, we want to be respected by the people in the industry and the fans. That's what Shakur Stevenson is fighting for right now. And Shakur still got to be smart because Jamel is dangerous with that left hand and he's dangerous with a right hook. And Shakur Stevenson is doing the right thing by marching forward behind the right jab. <laughs> One, two, backs it up with a southpaw right hook as well. And then from range, back to the jab. Good work. Pinpoint accuracy from Shakur Stevenson with that left hand. Time. Opponent. Shakur Stevenson is landing 37% of his power punches, the left hand finding its mark. Ted, as soon as that, that, that stat creeps up to about 50, <laughs> we could see a stoppage. That's the power punch percentage. You saw the total punches in the last round there put up, but the power punch percentage right now is 37%. Jamel Herring has to ask himself, what is he willing to live with? Is he willing to live with being on the outside of those punches that are not going to stop coming and maybe at some point start looking for a way out or maybe get caught by a big shot? Or is he going to fight fire with fire and do what he told us he was going to do and try to back Shakur Stevenson up and try to rough him up and land a big shot? What is Jamel Herring willing to accept tonight? And right now we're seeing some inflammation under the left eye of Jamel Herring, and that's going to be something they're going to have to contend with in the corner.
You see, this is the fight that I knew that Shakur Stevenson had in him. I know he can stand his ground. I know he can fight well in the inside. And he's showing us a different dimension of his skill set. He can do it all. Finding those levels, too. Look at that four-punch combination. Then goes down to the body with a jab. Then back upstairs with the left hand. Three-punch combination to the head. Shakur is in rhythm here in Atlanta. Look at this work. This looking like Gotti Floyd right now. Yes, it this is. This looking like Floyd May Mayweather, Arturo Gotti right now, where you thought the bigger guy was going to going back the smaller guy up, but the smaller guy has a lot more physical strength, a lot more prowess, and a lot more punching power than you thought. Aaron ain't going to lay down, though. I'm letting you know that right now. He's a Marine. He's going to fight back. And I see him. He's trying his spots right now. He's taking a fight. So that's also the game plan. The fight is starting to break out now. Isn't it? Yes, it is. Aaron's not backing up, and Shakur's still giving. Neither Shakur. Shakur's standing right. his ground right now. Backing up when he needs to, and then stepping inside. Right in the center of the ring. Right on that Crawford Porter signage for their big pay-per-view coming up on November 20th. As Bud Crawford sits ringside. That right jab is the best thing Jamel Herring has going for him. That's the only shot he has to actually walk forward and actually get those power shots off that he wants to. If he tries to load up and lead, he's going to get countered. If he sits on the outside, he's going to get picked apart. He's got to get the right jab going to try to push Shakur Stevenson back. Here Just like the, that. Here comes the left hand. You knew it was coming, doubling up that right jab. Tough target to hit, though, is Shakur. Always has been. You're right, Dre. That jab is causing some problems for Shakur Stevenson. Oh, nice shot right there. Lifted him with the right hand. And that got Jamel Herring's attention. As it should. Off angle didn't matter. Well scored by Stevenson. World title on the line. Stevenson off to a great start. Time. Showing that he's also strong and he can manhandle Jamel Herring and then countering shots on Jamel just like that. That's discouraging for Jamel Herring because nothing is working at the moment. Hands free, guys. Oh, nice. That's what he has to do. Right here yes. inside. Has to be willing to just hit him and hit him anywhere and take some chances, especially when you can smother him. That's and he it. just did. Left hand came in. Jamel Herring back to the rope. Shakur had a 16 to 12 connect advantage in that last round. 13 of the 16 connects were power punches. You get to see if he responds right now. You have to push him to that point. You have to execute on that plan to get the answer. Well, we see Jamel slowly trying to do that. He hasn't fully executed, but you see him trying. Ooh, head, head Stop. clash. Clash of heads there. Watch your heads, you okay? <laughs> oh, mean two-piece right there. Timed Both it. of them landed. But the frustrating part, fellas, is not the two-piece. It's when you think you're going to get something back, and the distance and the range and the legs of Shakur Stevenson won't allow you to get back. That's discouraging, fellas. That's demoralizing. Step back all the way. Jamel Herring has to free that one hand, his right hand or his right arm, and just let both shots go. Ooh, he Shakur that may shot. throw. Right. But he's got to Scored throw. well by Stevenson right there. He hurt him with that shot. You, you saw Herring right? off balance for a moment, didn't you, Timmy? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And the reason why that shot hurt him is because he didn't see it coming. Quick right hook. He's a right-handed fighter. He's right-handed, but he fights in the southpaw stance. 
What an advantage that is. To be able to generate that power as a natural righty, but a gifted and sublimely skilled southpaw in the ring. Advantage against the champion, Jamel Herring. Yes, the champion, but keep in mind Stevenson, the accomplished Olympian who went on in his 13th fight to win a featherweight championship, said, I'm moving up to 130 pounds, 16 and 0, and tonight trying to stay the course to become a two division world champion. And he was the significant favorite. Late money came in at Herring, but Shakur Stevenson, a significant favorite. In the corner, Bo Mack, I asked him, how do you turn things around? He says he has to do what he did in that fifth round. That was his best round. He's got to rough him up, and that's the you only chance Shakur he had. backing up, or he wanted him inside right now. Sh uh, excuse me, Jamel Herring has Shakur where he wants him. He's got to try to take advantage, but Shakur is not playing along. Hands free. The mean three-piece right there. See, Shakur is a really good inside fighter. And this is continue on the path oh he's been on in his career. Oh. Keep him up, guys. Quick, come on. Keep the punches up. Keep, keep Stevenson's got to stay guys. focused. He can't look at the ref because when he did, Jamel Herring did just what he was supposed to do. He landed a straight left hand. Beautiful short now uppercut right the there by I Herring on the inside, but here, I... this punch right here, right down to the groin area by Herring, you can see the response from Shakur Stevenson. Fight card. Evander Holyfield's son, by the way, came up a winner earlier tonight here in Atlanta. Now number eight. Team, team Herring has to continue to try to convince him that he can win this fight. Even though he's down on the card, son, you got to keep pressing forward. Remember the game plan. We said he was going to fade late. We'll never know if that's true if you don't let your hands go and start to hit him any and everywhere. Now, these are the no regret moments. Because the other shots, too. You know, he's throwing over the head of Shakur Stevenson. Wow, nice combination up, right there. Not everything landed. Bad Herring is marching forward with no jab. Good Herring is j the, j the Jamel Herring that's coming forward with the right jab, coming behind that with the straight lefts and the body shots with both hands. He's got to stay disciplined with that right jab. I like the body shots inside from Herring. Got to hit something. There's a short right to the body. Good short overhand left. Featherweight title in just his 13th pro fight. Now fight number 17, he's looking to become a two-division world champion. Get your hands free, step out of there. Break! I got it, stop, stop. Ten seconds, obey the bell. You know, Jamel Herring didn't really fall prey to all the jawing, all the chirping going on throughout the week here in Atlanta. And maybe Shakur slowed down a bit, but I don't think it's the way Bo Mack is saying, saying it is. But Bo Mack is doing his job. He's earning his money tonight. He has to encourage his fighter and try to make this man believe that he can still win this fight. Jamel Herring has been executing Bo Mack's game plan these last few rounds, getting inside, dirtying it up. But Shakur Stevenson is tougher, rougher, and better inside than anyone thought. Stevenson has came in here in this fight with a made-up mind. He just hurt. He just wow. hurt Heron with that. He hurt Heron with an uppercut. Two more headshots came in as well. Timmy, a few Frank, years ago, Frank, Frank, benefit Jamel Herring or Shakur Stevenson the most? All I know is Shakur Stevenson see that blood, and I bet you he's going to attack that eye of Jamel Herring.
good at. It's hard to see, especially when you got blood dripping down the eye. It's in the spot. It's above the eye. So it is definitely blurring his vision a bit, repairing his vision. Now the cut is worsening, and another left hand comes in. And look at these headshots from Shakur. Shakur isn't wasting any energy. He's very efficient, and he's landing clean shots at will right now. Efficient and sharp, so accurate, and doing damage. He's got a little bit of an anger to him, too. That's what blood does. That is it! They are waving it off! This is a TKO victory for Shakur Stevenson, and he is a two-division world champion. An absolute A-plus performance from Shakur. Timmy, what did he just come through the ropes and say to you? He said, thank you. He just said, thank you. Yes, he did. You want to know why? You criticized him I motivated in June. Him. That's right. That's why. And we saw the complete package of Shakur Stevenson tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, here inside State Farm Arena. Referee Mark Nelson calls a stop to this bout at 1 minute 30 seconds of round number 10. For your winner by technical knockout and new WBO Junior Lightweight Champion of the World, Shakur Stevenson! Seventeen and zero, oh, the best he's been. Ninety-nine power punches landed. A one sixty-four to eighty-seven.